Hi everyone, I am Anis Pandey. Welcome back to the UiPath Document Understanding Series. In the last video, we explored what is UiPath Document Understanding, what are the types of documents like a structured, semi-structured and unstructured documents. We also explored Document Understanding Framework end to end. Now before we jump into building workflows with document understanding in UiPath Studio, let's take a step back and check what do we actually need to get a start with the DU workflow. So in this video, we will go over all the prerequisites and dependency needed before we start designing workflows. I will walk you through all the must have tools, packages, accounts and PDF files you all need. And before showing you the dependency and prerequisites, let me tell you why this video is very important, especially if you are a beginner. You know what happens? A lot of new learners make the mistakes of directly creating UiPath projects with the DU and start finding activities like digitize, classify, load taxonomy, or they start dragging activities into the project and they expect everything to work fine. But what happens actually, errors start showing up like missing taxonomy, activities not available, package issue or extractor not working. They search in the UiPath forums or they Google it. They even try to reinstall the packages or reinstall a studio, UiPath studio. And after this multiple retry, they get frustrated very quickly. <laughs> and then they say, oh. I will not learn UiPath document understanding. It's very tough. But do you know what is the reason? It was about missing the basic steps. Things like installing the right packages, getting or updating the API key, making sure your robot is connected. Let's relate to the real life. Things of it like learning to drive a car. Before you get on the road, you need to get a key, you that car key, check fuel, adjust your mirrors, and fasten your seat belts. If you'll skip those steps, it could be dangerous. And in case of document understanding, skipping these steps leads to errors that feel impossible to solve for beginners. And this is why this video is not just a setup video. It is a preparation guide that saves time, frustration and confusion. So in this video, I will walk you through all the prerequisites you need before using document understanding, including the package installation, getting API key, even where to find sample documents, invoice documents, etc. All right. So let's get started. So let's talk about this one by one, the prerequisites and dependencies. Let me go step by step here. So check UiPath Studio is installed. So currently I am using community license. If you are using enterprise, that's fine. Make sure your studio is connected with the orchestrator. You will see here once you will go to the profile. Then make sure your assistant, UiPath assistant connected to the orchestrator. Now create a blank process in UiPath Studio. So once you will open UiPath Studio connecting with this, you can click on project this is a blank project you can just click on this process and type here uipath document understanding project enter description if needed and then create after that installed required packages so go to studio manage packages all packages from here search here uipath dot intelligent OCR dot activities. So you see here once you install this one, it comes with the intelligent OCR and then document understanding dot ML package, PDF, OCR dot activities. All these things are installed as a dependency we can see. Now click install and click save. So I mean like once you install this UiPath dot intelligent OCR activity, UiPath document ML activity that package gets installed automatically. And once you install that, you can see taxonomy manager is accessible from here. And you can also search 
the activities from the activities panel let me click on uh, this and group by packages so i have installed here packages like uipath.intelligentocr.activities but you see here uipath.ocr activities and uipath.documentunderstanding.ml.activities this these two package also installed with this intelligent ocr package right so no need to install it separately now you can access all these intelligent OCRs activities like classify document scope, digitize document, form extractors, all these extractors. Next, you can access document understanding portal. You can access UiPath document understanding portal. So to access this, go to automation cloud, UiPath automation cloud. And now you can click on this and search for UiPath document understanding. If that is showing here, means that is already accessible, that is online that is enabled but if it is not not visible here means you have to enable it or you have to add the service so for that you have to go to the admin click on tenant and then click on services now search here in this list if you can access that document understand, understanding service here then you you can just enable that so you can see here it, it is disabled so i can just enable that but there might be uh, the scenario where document understanding is not showing in this list so you can click on add service and then you can find that document understanding ser that service here and then you can click on that and click add so that will be automatically added here but in this case this is disabled you just need to click on three option click on enable once this is enabled you can go to this and you can search for document understanding click on that so you can keep your UiPath document understanding portal online. We will explore that later when we get into the model training and document sets. But right now, we don't need this UiPath document understanding portal to perform taxonomy, classification or extraction or validations. Next, get API key for document understanding. To get the API key, go to cloud portal that we go to home and then click on admin, go to licenses go to robot and services and then here you can see document understanding copy this api key we will use this api key later when configuring activities like ocr ml extractor or classifier let's note down in notepad and the next be ready with the sample documents so to work with the document understanding process we need few documents so I will go with the invoice documents so I have few native documents native invoice documents and scanned documents let's go to github so I have uploaded here four invoices along with the native and scanned invoices you can access it from here I will share this link in the video description feel free to download and try them out in the project I will keep adding more documents to it you are now fully ready to build your first document understanding workflow. Thanks for watching and in the next video we will start with the taxonomy.